Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's second video. So day 10 will take us around the 30th of November, the last day of the month. Uh, and we'll be able to extend out beyond that. We're going to GFS and ECM ensembles later on to around a couple of weeks. So you are going to have a look at CFS V2 at the end of the video uh, for December. It might be coming up uh, in the last couple of minutes of the video. Uh, JMA Friday has been released. Talking about December, JMA Friday has been released. That takes us uh, through the first half of December. Some quite interesting trends there. So uh, have a look at what we're seeing uh, with the Japanese and CFS V2 models uh, when you're done with this video. We're going to have the extended ECM WF 42 day look ahead for you around 6 o'clock tonight. So uh, that is going to be uh, taking us into the beginning of 2021, can you believe? Uh, right to uh, the start of January. Uh, so next six weeks worth of data from the ECM WF, that will be coming up for you um, uh, this evening. And then after 10 o'clock tonight, we're going to be live streaming. We're going to be live streaming uh, the uh, GFS uh, 18Z, the pub run. And uh, we'll have a bit of a laugh and a bit of fun on a Friday night. So uh, we'll be live after 10. Right, so uh, let's get on with this one, though. So we're going to begin uh, with the GFS of rare temperature and precipitation ensembles the next couple of weeks. We're at Bristol today. So the red line is a 30-year upper air temperature average for Bristol. And uh, so we're mild on average at the moment. We're going to stay pretty mild over the next few days through to around the uh, middle part of next week. And then after that, second half of next week, we'll see a drop in the temperature. And as we run through like the end of November uh, through the first week of December, it looks like temperature, upper air temperature then are generally around average to possibly uh, a little bit below, actually. Although there is a lot of scatter in there. So these are, are warmer on some of them. As just here, these are cold ones down here. I think overall we can see that there is a bit of a cooling trend going on though here from, from where we are there to uh, to where we are like by the end of November. It does look as though things will be turning a, a little bit cooler. Precipitation wise, there's going to be quite a bit of dry weather over the next few days. I mean, there will be some precipitation around. We've got a band of rain moving across the country today as a weakening uh, feature. So, so there will be um, some rain coming and going uh, over the next... Um, three or four or five days. But it's really from around the middle of next week onwards and into the end of November, start of December. But it looks like things are getting uh, more unsettled then with some quite big uh, precipitation spikes. And of course, as the air cools down, some of that might start to turn wintry over high ground up in the north. Temperature anomalies from the 20th of November to 28th are going to be very close to average. Um, maybe a little bit above for England and Wales, near north of Scotland. It's not a particularly big deviation either way, but probably still a little bit on the mild and average side down in the south. Uh, precipitation anomaly uh, from the 20th, 28th of November is going to be drier than average. So, yeah, there will be some rain coming and going, but it's not particularly uh, wet over the next few days. It's really from around Wednesday, Thursday next week onwards that uh, things might start to turn wetter. Here's today's latest wind flow map from EarthNoldSchool.net showing that westerlies are in across the country. So, you know, having another push of uh, mild air from the Atlantic. It's a bit cold yesterday and last night. It's still pretty cold in the east today, but westerlies haven't really arrived in the east yet. But, but they're, out, they're on their way and temperatures will be lifting up again as we go through uh, the next few days. This is how the UK Met Office model is looking for Monday. So uh, basically on Monday, we've got high pressure to our south. Low pressure is to uh, the north. There should be quite a bit of dry weather around, I think, through the early part of next week. But through next week, it does get more unsettled. This is quite an active front that's coming in uh, across the country here at midnight on Wednesday. There's an active cold front pushing in uh, then. So that's bringing a band of quite heavy rain and cooler temperatures as well. And then as far as we go with the UK Met today to Thursday, where we've got, again, low pressure away to our northwest. And it just looks like it's turning more unsettled, really, as we come to the end of uh, November. GFA 6Z is looking like this. Uh, so, uh, again, we've got a bit of high pressure to our south. Low pressure is away to our north and west. Um, going to be open next week. It means that for southern areas, there should be quite a bit of dry weather, but always more in south in the north. Active cold front push across the country over Tuesday night. Brings a band of heavy rain and strong winds are behind that. It starts to sound cooler or even colder from the northwest. And then more low pressure breaking through as we go into the latter stages of next week. We have got some higher pressure, though, within the northern latitudes. So that is what's forcing the jet stream southwards. So it looks like we're going into a rather colder but still unsettled sort of pattern for the end of the month. That's where the drop in temperature 
is coming from. But of course, as these areas of low pressure come crashing in across country, they will bring further bouts of heavy rain. And particularly for the, the like high ground in the north, so the Pennines, particularly the Scottish hills and mountains, there could be some snow starting to get involved uh, with this. That's how we look as we get to day 10, which is Monday the 30th of November, last day of the month. Looks very unsettled. There is a ridge of high pressure that's trying to get going across northern uh, Scandinavia, but up to this point, it's still below pressure in the Atlantic, continuing to be uh, driving away. Uh, into our steady range with the uh, 6Z GFS. Again, low pressure continues to come in off the Atlantic, so it remains quite wet and windy on this GFS run through the first week of uh, December. And, you know, cold at times, winds are in from the northwest at times here uh, around these areas of low pressure. So probably unsettled with bouts of rain and at times cold enough for hill snow up in the north. GM looks like that. So uh, once more on Monday, we've got a ridge down in the south of the north. It's a bit more unsettled through the middle of next week. All areas see some heavy rain. And then we settle into these westerly winds as we move into the end of uh, November and start of December. Eventually, we've pulled out a bit of a northerly barrel at day 10. That is Monday the 30th of November. We're pulling in a cold uh, northerly wind. It looks like it will be very transient, that. Uh, so, so, yeah, that's like a one-day cold snap. Uh, but uh, with low pressure through here, we very quickly start to turn wind back into the west and roll those low pressures back in from off the Atlantic. And then the ECM looks like that. So uh, once again, high pressures over France or a ridge is over France. We've got uh, some lower pressure out in the Atlantic to the, to the start of next week. Uh, by the middle of next week, all areas are turning wet and windy. I mean, it goes a bit colder into the second half of next week, but still quite unsettled. Heading up to day 10, looking very wet and windy there. That's certainly the 29th of November, 216 hours away. That would probably be a named storm, I would have thought, if that came off. Severe gales and heavy rain uh, with that one. And then we're back into a westerly flow with the ECM uh, by day 10. All looking very, very mobile, I have to say. Uh, right, these are the options on the table within the ESM Ensembles today for day 10, which gets us to the 30th of uh, November. So we have 15 members of the ECM Ensembles, including the control and the operation room, that today have low pressure to the north and high pressure to the west and southwest. They're bringing in uh, westy winds at day 10, the last day of the month. 13 just here are very similar, low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south winds in from the west. Eight there with deep low pressure over top of the country, a very deep trough through the country, bringing lots of wet and uh, windy weather with that one. Six with a Scandinavian high. Now, you remember yesterday, like, the majority uh, of East Arizona members around day 10 were actually favouring higher pressure to, to the northeast. So a big flip has taken place. Uh, overnight with the ECM ensembles. And it's indicative of what's going on at the moment, whether this is due again to a lack of observational data from, like, from aviation, uh, you know, uh, with, with the lockdowns and that. I don't know, but, but definitely model reliability has been very, very poor over the past uh, few weeks. This goes on um, uh, at the moment. So, yes, we was favouring, like, a Scandinavian high, really, or high pressure somewhere to our east anyway, uh, and like a settled sort of main to November, beginning to December. But but now, like, this is the minority option, just eight doing that. Uh, eight uh, ensemble members are doing that. Uh, and then seven just here have a ridge out to our west and into uh, the country of Wesley. So it looks like most of those ECM ensemble members are pretty unsettled at day 10. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. This gets us to the 5th of December. Have 20 members of the ECM ensembles with low pressure sinking through the country and quite a strong westerly wind as well. Uh, 11 uh, with uh, low pressure to our north, again bringing in a west to perhaps northwesterly flow. 10 with low pressure to the northwest, high pressure to the south. That's going to be quite westerly uh, as well. 5 with some low pressure to our east and southeast, high pressure is away to the northwest. Winds could be coming in from a rather cold and northerly direction that. And another five just here has us under an area of high pressure. So, again, um, into the first week of uh, December, it looks like these seven souls are favouring, uh, you know, quite mobile weather, uh, really, with a minority option at the moment for higher pressure. Finally, CFS V2, these are 500 millibar heights breaking down into, no, 700 millibar heights, I think, um, actually. <laughs> 700 millibar heights breaking down 
into, uh, into, uh, no, if it's just 700 bit of a high donny for December, sorry about that, everyone, <laughs> I'm still thinking of a JMA, aren't I, um, JMA Friday, so no, these are 700 bit of our height anomalies from the CFS V2, or, or this is a 700 bit of our height anomaly from the CFS V2 for December, uh, right, so low pressure to the north, and high, after all that, uh, low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south, and winds in from a westerly direction in December, which means CFS uh, monthly forecast is predicting a mile of an average uh, December, and it's also predicting uh, near normal rainfall, but with such an unsettled westy pattern, you would expect a rather wet month would be probable. Sorry about that, I just completely lost the plot for a moment, didn't I? Uh, right, okay, so uh, that's it then. That's your 10 to 14 day. Uh, um, so, so, yeah, quite a big flip has happened, hasn't it? So, so yesterday, I think we was favouring, like, higher pressure for the end of November and beginning of December period. Possibly a bit colder and drier from higher pressure. But but now it looks like it's all low pressure, low pressure, low pressure. It's indicative of how poorly the miles are performing at the moment, uh, I think. And as I say, this could be down to lack of observational data, um, you know, within aircraft. Might be something else, so it could be, you know, that there is a pattern change going on, and the models are playing, or, or there's a potential pattern change going on, and the models are playing around with that. So, so it's very difficult to work out why, you know, model reliability plunges at times, such as we're going through at the moment. But definitely there has been uh, a big decrease in uh, model reliability, I think, over the past... Um, few weeks. Anyway, that's it for your 10 to 14 day. We're going to be back later on with the ECM Day 42 day look care. That's going to take us to the beginning of January. That will be around sort of 5 to 6 o'clock tonight. And then after 10 will be uh, live streaming. So I'll see you live after 10. But we have got the ECM Day 42 day coming up before then. Uh, for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.